Hello, this is Robin Dodd with Backscatter Underwater Video and Photo. I'm here to walk you through the installation process of the 10 bar snoot with laser aiming module for the CNC YS D2 strobe. The snoot will also work with the CNC YS D1. Uh, they share the same body style and will mount on the face identical to, uh, to this one. So the first thing we wanna do here is install the laser aiming module onto the snoot itself. You'll see that on the barrel of the snoot, you have two holes on one side and one on the other. Two retaining screws for the laser aiming module are gonna go through those two holes there. So the easiest way to access that and get it started is by unthreading the two smallest segments of the snoot barrel. And then we can back out and remove the two Phillips head screws from the laser. And I like to get those screws set in the snoot and held in place, so it makes it much easier to just line the laser up with them. So once those are in place there, you can take the laser, line up the screws with the holes on that, take a Phillips head screwdriver through the single hole on the opposite side, and going in at just a slight angle, you should be able to get in the head of the screw and get that secured in there. No need to over torque these, it's just a just past snug will do. Just like that, the laser is now mounted in place. Next, we're gonna take the fiber optic cable and thread that onto the little clear acrylic portion on the front of the laser there and then feed the exposed end of the cable through the small hole in the snoot body so that about an inch or so of cable hangs out inside the snoot. That's gonna to react to the flash from the strobe and automatically cancel the laser and turn it off during your exposure so it doesn't show up in your image. After we've got that installed, you can go ahead and thread the barrel segment back onto the snoot so those don't roll off into oblivion. Then take your flathead screwdriver and we're gonna open up the battery compartment door on the side of the laser. When you're removing that, take care to maintain the O-ring that sits just underneath the ceiling surface there. Then you're gonna take your 76A batteries and we're gonna use three of them in the strobe, or I'm sorry, in the, uh, in the snoot laser there. Uh, these batteries are not included with the snoot, so be sure to add those to your order before uh, picking up one of these. We're gonna take all three of those 76 A's and install them positive side up. All three positive side up in the laser. And then begin the threads on that battery compartment door. A little spring in there. You might be able to get them started with your finger. Otherwise, we can just rely on our flathead here. Batteries are now installed and stro, excuse me, laser seems to be working just fine. Single click turns it on, single click turns it off. After that, we can take this little foam uh, donut piece here and remove the white uh, backing to reveal the adhesive surface underneath. We're then gonna take that and put it adhesive side down right over that power switch. Make sure to let that adhesive dry for at least a couple minutes before you take this in the water. Uh, that foam safety barrier is going to act as just a little impact protection and some nice peace of mind to make sure that you're not accidentally turning the laser on or off mid-dive. Once that's all installed, your laser is pretty much ready to go. Uh, now we're going to install the last couple things here and get this mounted on the strobe. So we're going to start with the uh, target light focusing rod here. Now if you're using this snoot without the laser, this rod, which sits in the snoot, as so, will align with the target light on your CNC strobe so that you still have at least some idea of where the strobe is pointing if you're not using the laser. If you do have the laser installed, find that the, uh, the accuracy of that is superior to the target light, but at least you have the redundant system. Then we're gonna install the diffuser, which this hole will go over that target light focusing rod. You wanna make sure that's sitting in there nice and snug if there's any interference between them, you may need to back that rod out just a bit and get it sitting in there flush. They're pretty tight manufacturing tolerance right in between those two. Don't worry, they will go together, but I just need to find that little sweet spot. 
Once that's in nice and flush and secure, we're ready to mount the uh, snoot onto the strobe itself. You wanna align the little indented portion on the bottom of the snoot with this part that uh, protrudes here, like for the fiber optic cable on the bottom of the strobe. And we will just gently guide that straight back on into place. There is an O-ring that sits just on the inside of the, uh, the outermost part of the snoot here that'll help really hold it firmly and securely onto that strobe. Once it's on, it's gonna take a significant amount of force to pull it off, just in case. It does come with a little handy dandy lanyard that I like to take over the back of the strobe, pull it down, being mindful of the switches, and secure that so that it's uh, nice and firm there in between the electronic sink port. You also have a little lanyard that is just tethered to the diffuser inside, but you can use this to mount around your ball or mounting hardware and secure that diffuser as well. From here, you're pretty much ready to uh, go out and start shooting. What I always recommend doing before jumping in the water is testing out the laser. Use the little hand wheel on the bottom of it to dial that beam either, uh, either direction and make sure that it's aligned with the beam from the strobe so that you have some nice accurate uh, alignment there. And then I would say get in the water and start creating some amazing macro images. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call here or you can always visit us online at backscatter.com. Happy diving.